just a wee bit. So uh, we asked Brock to sing three songs back to back, which we normally don't do. No. He usually has a very strict policy against such things. <laughs> three lead singer band problems. But, uh, Thanks for teasing me, though, guys. Yeah. I really appreciate that. We love you. You took the time now yeah. to do it. It's great. Yeah. It's <laughs> I wanted to wait till I had a mic and you couldn't say anything inappropriate to me. So that's well, that's kind of the plan. Well. Who's, <laughs> Who's to say this isn't whiskey and I'm getting a little frisky? <laughs> mm. Just kidding, it's water, kids. Drink lots of water. So you want to introduce this next one since you're singing it? This is a song that uh, Christian did not have any part in at all <laughs> whatsoever. <laughs> 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 it's <laughs> This song is... Uh, it's about uh, just when you have that special person in your life, you know, be it, uh, you know, a spouse or just, you know, a family member, a friend, someone that you really care about um, that honestly you normally get a lot of encouragement from. But, um, you know, you see life kind of uh, putting them in the mud a little bit, um, you know, not really treating treating them the way that you know that hey, you know, they deserve to be treated and it's your chance to be the cheerleader for them. Uh, and honestly, you know, in, in love and in life, I think I feel the most fulfillment um, when I can be, you know, a, a, a cheerleader for Janet. You know, that's like when I feel our love, you know, the most. And I'm sure it's the same the other way around. Um, so I wrote this song just kind of about, hey, man, I'll be your champion. I'll be your biggest supporter. I'll be your cheerleader right now um, because I don't want you thinking that you're anything less than, than perfect. Um, and I know we're not all perfect, okay, but she's pretty close. So this song's, uh, <laughs> this song's called Nothing Broken. How can I help you see? How can I make you believe? Storms will rage and oceans roar, but I can be your steady shore. Here I stand, and here I stay. Just hold on tightly, find your way. When your sight fails, and darkness roams, you see the light guiding. Made you 
Yeah, he made you right. Oh, from the start to the end. Oh, I've always known. So I won't tell you blindly. There's no. songs in a row man three songs i made it you made it so uh that song is from our newest album it's actually one of the four kind of featured singles off of that album this next song is also from that album it's called watch it burn mm. which is the title track and uh janet's gonna sing this one yeah i feel kind of funny singing this song after that really sweet song because <laughs> i did not write this song at all i'm just singing it i didn't write it about brock because it's really <laughs> angsty and kind of has this like angsty. Uh, yeah, it is angsty. Yeah. But I really like the song, but it is not about this man right here. Christian actually wrote it. I don't know who he wrote it about. I'm around high schoolers all day. I was channeling my inner uh, yeah, there uh, it is. My inner angst. <laughs> I'm a teacher when I'm not doing this, so. it's called Watch It Burn. Since you love on the airways and the letters by post, called you up just to listen to that catch in your throat, told me all about the old days, how you're shaking, shaking off the Yes, never 
Burn. Set fire to it. All the angst. <laughs> <laughs> this ne next song is appropriate. Uh, being at an old train station. I don't know if you all heard the train pass by earlier. Um, I definitely felt it. My seat was rumbling. Yep, it's all rumbling in here, folks. Yeah. That's what I said. It was. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> I said what I said. <laughs> said what so I said. Uh, this song is called Train Song. And, uh, yeah. Y'all ready?
when we modulate though like am i actually gonna come back back am i gonna be on that that uh am i gonna be singing the d whenever we come back in on that (laughs) it's a little uh it's a little exposed out there you're exposed out there (laughs) that was uncalled for (laughs) so (laughs) this is a song called uh bury me uh which is also a single off of off of this track and uh or off of this album i should say we just did an acoustic video for this, and uh, these next three or four songs are going to be primarily acoustic arrangements, so Josh is going to chill out, hang out, I don't know, he's just going to... Josh has got the best seat in the house. Oh, that's right, that's right. Uh, but yeah, these are just some acoustic arrangements of songs, and this song is a huge anthemic, Brock is usually on electric guitar, and... Big it's drums like, and yeah. I, I usually categorize this next song when we do it with the full band is stadium folk rock. <laughs> stadium yeah. folk rock. I think it works. But so we pared it down uh, largely because Jana had a cool idea on the keys for it. So we're like, we have to do that. And uh, the song is actually getting some radio airplay across the country. Tooting our own horn a little bit, but that's okay. It's kind of cool, though. Like It is cool. It's cool. Especially in Conway, New Hampshire, if you're right. in Conway. <laughs> yeah. No There's kidding. like one person in Conway who's <laughs> screaming right now. I Probably not. I don't know. <laughs> we love you, Conway. And everywhere else that plays. It's going to be the name of my next child, Conway. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Go with I'm it. I'm embarrassed of all of you. <laughs> all right, so this song's called Bury Me. Not you, Josh. Yeah. Every breath I take You 
So that was Bury Me, an acoustic arrangement of it. Hope you guys who are watching are enjoying. Enjoying your time in with family, some close friends that you trust to be around right now. This next song is an acoustic arrangement of another, uh, of another one of our bigger songs. It's called Shutting Down Tennessee. We have a music video up on our YouTube and uh, Facebook channels. It's got the full band if you want to see it, but we're going to do a little stripped down version for you. The song's called Shutting Down Tennessee. <laughs> we are going to record an acoustic version of this too at some point. So uh, go visit us on Facebook, uh, Instagram, all the social medias, and uh, you'll see an acoustic version of this. And you can watch Bury Me, which we just did, but uh, this one's called Shut Down Tennessee.
Shutting down Tennessee, usually that's huge, big, full band, but that's a fun uh, little acoustic arrangement uh, we came up with. And um, so uh, we have 12 minutes left. How many? 12. 12 minutes. I assume, is that right? 12 minutes, or do we can we go longer, or is that it? Whatever we want. All right. Well, then we're going to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> this is a song... Um, I'm a teacher when I'm not doing this, and uh, I moved all around while I was growing up, but uh, so I'm, I'm not used to being in a place where lots of people know me and, and, you know, those situations where you can't really escape your past, where everyone around you, like, oh, I changed your diaper, or, you know, I, <laughs> you know, I, I babysat you growing up, like, that's not an experience I've ever had, um, but I teach, and a lot of my students, that's their experience. And it's always kind of the, the small town dynamic, always kind of being in the same place, kind of fascinates me as somebody on the outside observing. And um, so this song is written about from the perspective of a relationship. What if that is your story? What if, what if the relationship goes south? What do you do when everyone knows your business? Yeah, so, uh, so this song is called Silk Roses. Like 
So we can finally feel 